Hey guys, what's up here? Welcome back to another episode of our Road to Master. We have some funky games lined up for you guys today, including one where I get matched with the most interesting Yasuo I've ever seen. We're starting the day off today, guys. Diamond 370 LP, and I'm playing Jax in the top lane. I'm kind of thinking I want to play him a little bit more, more so than Nautilus, a bit more carry potential. But Jace was a really hard lane, getting shoved under tower 24-7. But I saw my opportunity to go in on him, go for the solo kill, and manage to get him with a sliver of health remaining. So I'm pretty proud about this one. Obviously, don't play Jax that much, but had a pretty good start to the game. Even though I was in a really hard matchup. They try and gank me after I've lane swapped down bot lane as well. Good old Gragas. Thinking he's a little bit too big for his boots. Don't you know how I think Gragas works, mate? He's my most played champion. He's my best jungler. You can't beat me, mate. I'm way too... I'm, I am, obviously... I think after this game... Probably my first game of Jax this season. I think I'm probably the best Jax in the world right now. I don't think that's an exaggeration to say, at least. But still, Jax is a champion. Good at split pushing. Good in the lane phase. But we got a little bit... Uh, Blasted, I should say, uh, in these team fights. It was a really hard game for us to win in team fights. You can see a really nice setup from the from the Zac into the Yasuo there, but really not enough. And then moving as well to later on into the game when we try to go for some more team fights. We really just didn't have any damage, honestly. Like, sadly, it meant that we weren't able to win team fights. And if you aren't able to win team fights, it's really hard to win the game as well. And yeah, basically, we just didn't have enough damage to win fights. And even though I had a good start, it wasn't meant to be. But that's okay, you win some, you lose some. I feel like I learned quite a lot from that Jax game, especially since I'm quite inexperienced in Jax, so quite proud of my performance. But we're moving on to the next game now. Gragas, Diamond 352 LP. Santa Gragas, here to deliver a present to Ail Shin, or sorry, should I say Aurelian's soul. Get counter ganked, usually that means you lose the gank, but my belly is just way too big, so it doesn't matter too much. And even though Lee Sin tries to get the return kills onto us, he can't quite pull it off. And Oriana gets in there for the cheeky play, and we've managed to bring it for the 2 0. Not too bad considering we got counter ganked. Really nice, solid early game coming up from me this game. I'm 1 0 3, securing so dragons as well. Pretty perfect, honestly, as far as the start goes for your jungler. Can't really ask for anything more than this. I haven't fed my ass off yet, at least, so that's a good start. And that first kill on to Renin Soul weren't enough. We're getting another one onto him as well. Beautiful stuff. Not just in the mid lane, though, also into the bot lane. Counter ganking against the, the Lee Sin with a nice, beautiful little Gragas ultimate right here to knock Lee Sin into his doom. And then a nice belly flash right there as well. Something I can't get away with in real life, but in this game, I can do it quite easily to pick off the Lucian as well. Going into the inhibitors. We are snowballing this game really, really hard. I mean, we're not even 30 minutes into the game and we're just destroying it. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. And this is where you often lose games, right? At Baron. <coughs> but we have Callista, right? Callista just rends it. Uh, or she or, or you know, she won't press rend and we lose the Baron. Now it's pretty bloody impossible, not gonna lie, to lose Baron when you've got Callista. But we lost the Baron, so that really sucks. And that gives them the b a bit of the window back into the game. Their late game team fights as well are really bloody strong. Aurelian Soul is so much more damage than I thought he would. But we get a, a pretty decent fight here, honestly. We go 3-2 and two in the initial initial part of this fight. I loop back around to see if we can get some more into the Aurelian Soul. Like, catch them out of position. Thought I'd get a two-man knockup, but I don't. Uh, then I just die. <laughs> I just take like 1,700 damage from him. Uh, he absolutely obliterated me there. Um... I don't play versus too many Aurelian Souls, so I'm not really too sure of his power spikes. And he just does so much damage with those stars. I mean, you can see my reactions. Like, I'm either just surprised or laughing because everything about it is just, like, ridiculous for me. You know, like, this Aurelian Soul was just so strong. And in the end, he was too strong for us to pull out the victory. So you guys know that if I lose a game on Lee Sin, a difficult jungler, I play Gragas, the easy jungler. Uh, well, this time around, I lost a game on Gragas, so now I'm playing Lee Sin. Diamond 3, 35 LP or something like that. Nice first setup onto the Renekton here, but we get counter ganked. That's usually a pretty bloody bad thing. Fortunately enough, Renekton was low enough that he didn't actually get to contribute into the 2v2. He just falls down straight away. And with some cheeky plays going down here as well, we managed to catch Gragas with his pants down. Nice little 2 and 0 there. The same as the start of last game. So let's see if the end result can be better than the last game. 
because it's the same start and I'm hoping things can go slightly differently here. So we have a nice start to the game going down. Uh, I'm 2-0-1 at this point. Gregor chases me a little bit too far in my opinion. I know I can beat the crap out of this guy. So I go for him here. I'm thinking Zareth will get down to me faster than Lux will, uh, but that's actually not the case. Lux gets there first and I end up suiciding. It's not really Zareth's fault though. I just really shouldn't have gone in on that. I should have played that with a bit more respect to the Lux. And then I just really get greedy, I guess. Uh, I, I thought that Gragas kick would hit Lucian, so it would save him, but that really sucked. Uh, and then basically the whole game just goes the way you saw that last clip. Like, I, I was just feeding my ass off at some point. Like, I, I just, yeah. I just fed the, my ass off in this game. Nothing else to say. Now, there is actually a missing game here because I forgot to press record. Um, but we lost another game there. So we're now at Diamond 3-0 LP. And I got uh, put into the uh, mid lane on my Oriana. Never played versus Katarina before in my life. Um, so I have no idea how she works, and she uh, she gets me with the ignite there. I don't really respect her damage, uh, and basically this is just kind of the problem when you don't play a role. Uh, I, I totally un like underestimated her damage here. I underestimated the um, hitbox of her daggers. She just uh, absolutely took me to town this game. I was a little bit unfortunate on this death here because I could have pressed W and it would have killed her and probably maybe saved my life, but definitely would have got the kill back on her. Um, so a bit unfortunate on that one. But I just get absolutely destroyed in the in the mid lane, but it's okay-ish because I play Oriana. One of the reasons why I play her is because I can still contribute even if I don't stomp the lane phase. And I'm doing pretty well in these team fights to contribute and to still be useful to my team. We have a pretty good late game team as well. We've got a nice carry on Twitch, some good peel and protection from him with Lulu and with me. As long as I can get some sexy shockwaves off, play a little bit passive. Play a little bit chill. It should all be good. I've got a three-man shockwave last fight, a four-man shockwave this fight. That's what it's all about, right? So even if I don't do well in the lane phase, my champion pool means that I can still be useful. So really, really nice comeback into this game. Uh, beautiful plays here. Twitch just gets really, really fed and just does Twitch stuff, including getting the quadra kill here. Don't even know what that move was by me, but still it sets it up so that Twitch gets the penta kill. Beautiful stuff. Last game, last fight of the game here as well. Uh, the initiation from Kled. Twitch moves a little bit too far forward here, and he's kind of frontlining against everyone, uh, which means that it's easy to, for them to jump onto him. Uh, and then he gets put down. And if the rat gets put down, well, there's nothing really else what you got, to be honest. Uh, this Kled was pretty shit. This, like, he's not shit, but he wasn't particularly strong. Uh, but he still shits on me, and we lose. <laughs> we just lose the game flat out. You can see I'm not particularly happy about that one, because that also means that uh, I get demoted. It's a little bit unfortunate to lose the game like the last one, because we were coming back quite nicely. My team fight was pretty good, but honestly, whenever you get clapped that hard in lane, it's kind of expected that you might not get a positive result, so it's not too bad. Moving on to Diamond 4, 75 LP, and I'm playing at least Singa in the jungle. We get first blood as well. Beautiful stuff here. It's a good start. Then again, we've had first blood in the last pretty much every game here, I think. And it's uh, not led to any anything particularly good. So hopefully third time's the charm or, you know, fifth time's the charm. And we actually get something out of this, including trapping the, the, the Corky down here. Getting a kill onto him. So we're getting kills bot lane. We're getting kills mid lane. Moving in here, getting kills into the top lane as well. Getting kills all over the board here, and we're 15 minutes into the game, and I'm 2-0-3. A nice cheeky play coming out here, by the way. Flashing so that I can get the uh, ultimate combo off there, the optimal combo. Uh, but sadly, uh, Shivana appears out of Fog of War. And then I try and save, save Riven. That's just pointless. My team fell pretty far behind this game, and for some reason, uh, my Caitlyn goes AFK. Just like, and look at her items, just, 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 just starts trolling. For no real reason, out of the blue, but we lose. I think I could have played the map a bit better in the last game, but Caitlyn trolling was really out of the blue, like we were just stalling, and then suddenly she just goes AFK. Now this is the game with my uh, interesting Yasuo. There's a little bit of a montage compilation coming up here, uh, where we are four minutes into the game, and he's already died uh, three times. Uh, five minutes into the game, and he's about to die for the fourth time here. This is what a really interesting one though is because like he uh, I'm just looking at him. And I just don't know what he's doing like <laughs> he he could have run away from that one I'm just really confused like it just doesn't make any sense uh, And then he teleports back in after the tower's dead and he just dies again I'm just like I'm just perplexed like what is this geezer doing? 
Um, but I'm auto filled this game. Like <laughs> at some point, this just gets funny. Like it just just becomes comical, really. Uh, if you are the jungler, by the way, in a game like this, don't do what this Udi is doing and trying to help this lane. It's completely pointless. Uh, but fortunately, he stops feeding Renekton at some point uh, and instead actually starts feeding <laughs> my bot lane. Look at my score, by the way. I was 1-0-2 at that point. Uh, but yeah, pretty impossible game, I feel like, on this one. He ended the game with 12 deaths. Uh, pretty difficult one to win. We're going to see as well, take a look at his stats. Just holy shit, what a terrible game. Anyway, games like the last game, the Yasuo, uh, just got to make sure they don't tilt you because you really can't do too much in games like that. Honestly, like, you're going to have games like that, just don't tilt because uh, the worst thing that can happen if you have a free loss is to then bring it into the next game and lose two rather than just the one. So we're playing some Gragas. Nice start to the game right there. This is our comfort pick, so I'm feeling pretty confident in this one. A nice ultimate there as well to catch out the vein and split up the team. Make sure she can't click the lantern. And then pick off the Thresh as well. So really good stuff going down. Getting two kills in the top lane, two kills in the bot lane. Getting kills all over the shop. Then again, that's what we did last game, so maybe I shouldn't be too excited about this one. Uh, but we actually managed to snowball this game here. You can see that my team is having a pretty good performance. So that's nice. I feel like that's a little bit of a change. But then again, I feel like I played a lot better this game as well. Even if you guys see my compilation of, of like good plays and you're like, oh, Foxy, you're playing so well. There's always little things you can do better. And those are the things you've got to focus on. We focused on them and we managed to pull out the victory. You can tell I'm happy about this one because if you look at my player cam, I am actually eating here. This is something where my dad says if I don't win... Uh, I don't get to eat, so I was extra happy about that one. The Blast Cone is where we're starting this next gameplay, boys and girls. We're playing some more Lee Singer. We're going for the first blood into the top lane. I feel like I'm getting first blood quite a lot in these games. So I guess that goes to show that if I can't win despite getting the first blood, that maybe it's my macro play, my snowballing that could do, use some work. Because I'm not particularly good at closing games out, apparently, even if I get leads. Now, we absolutely smash this Gangplank in the top lane. Not just Gangplank in the top lane, mind you. Even the enemy jungler in the top lane isn't free from our wrath. And we managed to snowball this Gragas pretty bloody hard. Get some really spicy kicks off of there. Like you see onto the Twitch, just completely destroying fights by making those insect plays. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows, mind you. I mean, you can see here we're struggling a little bit as well. A nice cheeky Victor flank catches out the Lux, which spells her doom. Uh, pretty difficult, uh, losing two people right here as well. Three people after Gragas goes down. Wasn't all amazing, but all, honestly, all I need to do this game is to either protect Caitlyn and let her carry, or to kick out the Twitch and kill him. But the enemy team has a really good late game comp with Gangplank, Victor, and Twitch. So there's a lot of threats on the enemy team here. Just got to play it smart, basically. So we had a bit of a hiccup there, uh, but then we managed to pull out uh, the, the team fights towards the end. That managed to go in our favor. And through that, we are able to snowball this game to a victory, which was, uh, I was a little bit afraid of this one because the enemy team was very good in the late game, but uh, we still managed to win. For our penultimate game of the day, we are playing some Caitlyn in bot. I've been enjoying playing some Caitlyn a bit more. Uh, we were a bit of a hook magnet this game. Both Ludo and I, as I'm sure you're going to see, uh, playing versus Thresh and Blitzcrank. Uh, for some reason, if you're not very good at bot lane, they're really hard to play against. But you can see that my trading, my lane, uh, my lane awareness is getting a bit better. Um, but Lulu had to, Lulu just died because she got hooked. Uh, and then I get hooked and I die as well. I, I just get, he, he completely predicts where I'm moving there. Um, he just throws it at me that time instead of predicting it. <laughs> so I don't dodge it because I'm like, he's just going to predict that I'm going to run. He's going to predict I'm going to dodge it. I'm not going to dodge it. Uh, but he still hits me with it, so that's a little bit awkward. Uh, then the enemy Katarina gets really fed this game. Uh, so I managed to do my part in shutting her down, but again, I kind of shat myself from the Thresh hook, so I kind of panic flashed. But honestly, in a game like this, all you've got to do, I'm 0 and 5 for goodness sake, all you've got to do is just farm up. So that's what I do here, you see I'm just farming up, no one no one saw me miss the kind of minion, that's fine. I'm getting fed here, that's what it's all about when you're playing AD carry and you don't have like 2 or 3 items, just get get your items, get fed. That was a joke, by the way, what I said a little while back about not getting, not eating if I don't win games. That doesn't happen. That is, uh, that, that would be, you know, some kind of neglect. Uh, that doesn't happen. Just, just, just a joke there. Okay, don't need to find the police or anything like that. But as soon as we get our three items, Caitlyn switches on. So we've got our Infinity Edge, Static, Shiv, Rapid Fire, Core. And I'm just ridiculously strong at this point. 
Uh, Oriana had a really nice game here. She was a little bit toxic, bless her, but she was like the only one on our team who wasn't inting this game, so kind, somewhat understandable. But eventually we managed to pull out the old victoire. And for the last game of the day today, boys and girls, if we win this one, we get promoted. Don't forget to leave a cheeky thumbs up onto the video if you liked it, and subscribe as well if you liked it that much that you want to see more of me. If you want to see more of these beautiful Gragas plays, or I probably should probably say Thresh plays because he's the one who did that one. Either way, a nice start to the game for me. Nice 2v2 here. Darius in the 2v2 is pretty bloody busted because his ultimate just means that he's pretty much guaranteed to kill someone first, and then he can... And move on to the second person as well and carry the stacks over so pretty scary to fight Darius in a 2v2 and that's why we win that one uh, sadly though we weren't particularly good as a team this game we kept getting caught 24 7 uh, my score wasn't too bad but as you can see we're like d half of the enemy's kills uh, so not the best game there and we end up losing sadly but that's the end of the video boys and girls that's all it is from me for today thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I really hope you have a great day from here on out. If you weren't having a good day, I hope this video helped you have a good day. If it didn't, then, well, I have failed you. And I sincerely apologize. And you'll have to come back to see the next video to see whether or not I can make up for it. Right? You're going to do that? Okay, awesome. I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a great day. And I will see you in my next video.